Hello everyone. Uh, today in this video, I will be telling you about how to revise for Gate and Engineering Service Examination. Uh, friends, revision is the most important thing before the completion, before the examination. Friends, like syllabus, everyone who attend attend coaching classes or whoever has intend to write Gate examination, they all prepare for the subject. And but what most of the people here, almost eight ninety percent of the population lack is how uh, they don't know how to revise a particular subject or how to revise the entire syllabus. So, in friends, like in gate, we have around ten to twelve uh, subjects in like, uh, every branch, and <clears throat> out of which three to four subjects are easy, two three subjects are easy, and two three subjects are of moderate or difficult level. Uh, but also in gate exam, we can't say that which subject is going to be easier or which is which uh, question from which subject will be tougher in the gate examination. Like sometimes from difficult subject also easy questions come, and from some sometimes from easier subjects we used to get difficult questions. So friends, now I will be telling you about how to revise gate uh, for gate examination. Like in gate examination, friends, in, during for revision, what we have to do basically, uh, we need to focus more on numericals. Like I have seen many of my friends or uh, those who are uh, those aspirants who are, who are preparing for gate examination. What they do at the time of revision is they used to take out the notebook. For some subjects, we used to have one notebook, and some for some subjects, we used to have two two notebooks. And for revision, what? They do used to they they used to take the notebook and they start from page one and they go to last page. Sometimes they during the revision this process. Sometimes what happens is they used to get demotivated in the halfway and they leave that particular subject in that uh, that path only uh, that way only and they move on to the next subject. Like this, the first subject they are, which they have already started, they uh, that is left behind and like this they, uh, they go to the next subject in this next subject same thing happens like this. After one or two months, what is going to happen is like you will feel demotivated. Like you will feel like I don't know anything. Like you have not completed any subject. No, you have co completed half of the subject. First thing, this is very uh, boring part to read the theory and class notes for the revision part completely. So what is going to be? This is boring also, and this is not useful also. Suppose if someone is completing the complete revision of the class notes, then also it is not going to help you a lot in the gate examination. So friends, what is what will be? Uh, what we have to do is basically we need to focus on numericals like first time before starting any subject like we have not started any particular subject then first what we need to do we need to study the entire syllabus of this, that particular subject and that we can the most effective way time saving most time saving way to do that is refer class notes of any particular coaching institute as i have done classes in made easy i will suggest you <coughs> to purchase or uh, the class notes are also available on Google. You just Google it out that made easy online uh, soft copy of made easy class notes. You will be getting the class notes and you can download it and you can get the soft copy and you can study through them. Like uh, I will suggest you all to do this and this is the most efficient way or most effective way to complete the syllabus. After completing the syllabus, then you should go to the previous equations. Like okay, like uh, in the class notes also for those who are doing self study, I am telling you that. In class notes also, there will be some of the questions that the teacher must have solved in the class. You just solve those questions in that particular flow only. Like after reading half of the syllabus or uh, first topic of the syllabus, then some questions came from that particular topic. After that particular question, you move on further and read the next topics and then subsequent questions you solve. And after that, what will happen is <clears throat> after completing the questions, you will be getting some of the concepts. And for that, after completing these things, you should go directly to the previous question without wasting any time on any extra material. Like for uh, electronics branch, many students refer R.K. Kanodia and different books, J.B. Gupta book. These books, I don't personally, I don't feel that these things are required. These books are required for gate examination. But I will even suggest if anyone wants to solve these books, then they, they should solve at least the previous question two times. After that, if they are, they feel that they you know, they have completed the previous question properly and they have understood what is the mindset of the examiner for gate examination, then they should go for extra books if they want. Then after that, what I am telling is, uh, for first time after completing the syllabus, like you have completed the first time, completed the syllabus completely from the class notes, and after that you directly go to the previous question. After going to the previous question, what you do is solve the questions one by one, starting from suppose there are suppose there are in a particular topic there are one to fifty questions. You start from question number one, go sequence wise to 50, question number fifty, and like you have already solved some of the questions from the class notes. Then some of the questions might be there that you have already solved in the class notes. Then also this, for the first time you solve that particular question again. And suppose that suppose that there are very silly question. 
then you need to separate the questions on basis of their difficulty and their standard like some of the questions you will be feeling that it is very class 12 level question it <clears throat> we need not need to practice it's very easy for me some of the questions might be easier for you and some of the question might be easier for some other but someone someone else so on personal basis you have to decide which question is easier for you and which question is very difficult or very which question is very uh, like they don't need revision this kind of this type of <clears throat> you need to segregate this question on the basis of this so first i am when i was studying i had made four marks like for different questions i need to mark them like uh, suppose that i solved question number 1 i found found it bit moderate i need to for i thought that before the examination i will be solving it once again for revision so what i did i marked <coughs> two points i marked double tick on that particular question and i moved to the second question on the second question i found that it is very simple integ simple integration question was there it was class 12 level and so what i did did was i put a cross mark on that cross mark for me indicated that i need not go to this question again so that i can directly skip this question at the time of revision and for the like i went for third fourth fifth question like this i went again and suppose there are some questions also friends like uh, they are not very difficult not very easy like they are okay before the examination if i go just go through them i will be feel i will be feel i will feel comfortable to solve them in the examination then what you can do is you can just like i made single mark for these for this these type of question like these questions are not very tough but they are not very easy also they are a moderate type of questions i made single tick on them and i further <coughs> moved and friends you will also find some of the question around around from every 20 question you will get one question that were very 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 rare question they come from the very rare topic of the gate syllabus but they are present and due to the incomplete knowledge and due to the not proper completion of the syllabus we have uh we were not able to solve that that, that particular question like suppose in uh suppose in 2005 a particular question came in gate examination which is very rare after 2005 and before 2005 also the that particular question that uh, that particular concept was not touched by the gate examiner examiners so what you need to do is if you are able to solve that particular question easily good and fine and if that particular is very tough to you then directly leave that particular question okay like in gate examination in any department no one scores 100 out of 100 and that should not be the target also if you are aiming at a gate examination your target should be that you should be getting a good rank so that you can qualify for mtex or psc or whatever you want that should be your target like getting rank 1 it can be also your target but getting 100 out of 100 is not it should not be your target It's like complete waste of time and waste of your energy okay so don't worry in that silly rare questions and every 5 6 years 7 years you will get one particular question that are very rare and you can if they are difficult and if you are not able to get them, sort out them then you can easily leave that particular type of question and for that you can put some different mark like i had circled those particular type of questions like i need not to go through these questions any time i just have to skip these questions like <clears throat> in this reference i am again summarizing that like for you need to for segregate four questions on the, on four categories like uh, very simple questions we need not that need not need any revision you put a cross mark on them and questions which are not very difficult not very easy but before examination you just need to go through it you need not solve it again but you just need to go through it like turning pages around it or during exam it will help you out then you can put a single tick on them and suppose some questions are there like they are bit difficult but you need to uh, bit difficult and you need to try once more again before the examination then you put some double mark double tick on them and some questions which are very rare and very difficult just put like if you are preparing good now then some suppose some particular, some particular question is difficult for you know that that particular question will be difficult for each and every one so need not to worry about that and just circle the question and skip it if possible then you can also if possible you can work on uh, work out on them and get a concept about it but if you are feeling that this is a very rare question like in gate examination for electronics and communication power amplifiers power amplifiers are really very rare like around from past 20 years it is in the syllabus but none of the question has came from power electronics uh, sorry power amplifier in electronics and communication so that is very rare for engineering service questions are there but for gate examination power uh, power amplifier question is not there so we can skip that particular topic for gate examination like almost everyone who will study know they will skip that particular topic and even if a question come from it from past 20 years the questions have not come so the question can be very easy or it will be very difficult it cannot be of moderate type so it is better to keep uh, leave that particular topic and move to the more frequent topics and uh, one more friends i uh, when i was preparing for the first time in 2019 one of my teacher told me how to uh, like uh, while solving the previous question for the first time you know, what you need know to do is take out a pen and paper after solving a particular topic chapter suppose in signal systems we have uh, fourier transform okay in fourier transform we have 
around 20 25 30 questions like let's say 30 questions we have and <clears throat> after solving that particular topic what you do is take a pencil and start writing from which particular topic we got a questions like first question we got from Parsifal's theorem to find energy second questions again we got from okay this question involved shifting property third question involved Fourier transform of cost signal like this and after this I, if you will do this 30 times 30 times then you, then you will find that only questions are coming from only 3-4 topics like this if you will write this, those things no? then you will get a clear a clarity that okay the questions are coming from this particular topic only these are the most frequent topic we should prepare this and this will help you a lot and for the first time I told you what to do and for the second time what is going to happen like <clears throat> there are around 10 subjects you studied the first subject you solved the class notes questions you after that you went to the previous questions you segregated the questions from the basic or difficulty level after that <clears throat> you started a new subject suppose for, for and for electronics and communication you completed analog electronics and you have started a communication subject fine then what is going to happen is after completing analog as you switch to communication there is no link between these two subjects they are completely apart they are um, the poles apart those two subjects don't have any similarity completely different things we have in the both subjects so after studying 5-7 days of communication what will, what, will, what will happen is you will start to forget the concepts of analog electronics then what is going to happen? How will you revise? And how will you keep this? I'm talking about only two particular subjects, but in gate examination, we will be having around 10 to 12 subjects, and we have to manage all them, all of them, and at the time of the, at the time of the examination. So what is going to happen is, after <coughs> studying the communication, you don't stop in between and start revising analog. You complete communication first. After completing communication, solve questions of previous uh, communication previous questions first, in the same manner. Segregate the question based on difficulty level. And after that, after solving the previous questions, go to analog electronics and solve the previous question earlier first. And wherever you got stuck, you refer the class notes again. Okay. And class notes again. And <clears throat> after that, uh, after solving the analog previous question again and uh, reading the class notes, what you have to do is you move on to next subject before starting communication. Before revising communication, okay? like you, you moved on to suppose say control systems, control systems you moved on, which is an easy subject, and you start uh, common, uh, control systems, you finish in five seven days and start the previous questions again, in the same manner. And after solving the previous questions, what you do is go to communications, in the same manner you revise communications and again uh, uh, go to next subject. After completing that particular subject, come back to control system and revise it again. In this manner you have to do and what is the friends most important thing is you need after completing every time like after sol solving after com uh, reading the class notes and after solving the previous question you should take out one day time or at least two day time uh, no maximum two day times one to two day time you should prepare class notes of every subject because class class notes will be helping you out, uh, helping you a lot to uh, revise like uh, it is very difficult to like when I, when, I, when I used to prepare, I used to have around two to three hundred pages for each and every subject. I am average talking about average for communication. Even I have five hundred pages. Analog, I have five hundred pages. I am talking about average three and three to four hundred pages. I used to have for a particular subject of class notes. And for revising four hundred pages, it requires around ten to twelve hours for without without solving any questions. If you're just revising and thoroughly, if you revise, then it will take you ten to twelve hours. But if you prepare class notes, no, you will be able to revise a particular subject in one to two hours. This will be very helpful at the time of exam. And class notes are most effective. It is just, it, uh, it is a kind of a rank getter for in the part of revision. <clears throat> if you have class notes, if you will feel confident in before the exam, like gate examination is 10 days away from you, then what is going to happen? You are, you don't have time to revise the entire class uh, class notes and read the books and solve previous question a lot at last five days. Then what will help you and what will give you confidence is short notes. What you need to do is short notes, you have to 5, 7, 10, 10 pages short notes you have. You just need to refer the class, uh, short notes, revise the short notes and move on. This will help you just before the examination. And before the examination, like if you are 2-3 months back the gate examination, then short notes, um, I don't think that, that that should help you a lot. Or You should give more time to previous questions and class notes again before if you are having 3 months time for gate examination for revision at that particular time you should go for previous question and class notes ok friends and um, something I am missing uh, what should I tell you next ah friends uh, some of I, uh, I have seen many students or 
friends among us who have asked me to send me their uh, short notes friends i can send send you the short notes but what is what difficulty is that around short notes also i, I basically i used to write big big so my short notes are also around 10 to 12 pages 20 pages and for around 10 to 12 so it is around 200 pages and scanning all of them and sending them it is a very difficult task friends 200 pages of scanning so and this is the first thing and second thing is short notes of someone else it will not be effective like i have written the short notes in my language like i have used my signs my standards like writing some i i am writing a statement particular statement i have used some hindi words some sometimes i have just used star marks over there like in in place of writing circle i have made a circle like i have used my standards my notations on over there and that can be read best by me only and if you are preparing short notes on your that will be very much helpful rather than getting short notes of someone else like i there are also books like made easy handbook is there i have that i have seen also that but friends those are not very much helpful if you are prepare if you are preparing short notes by on your own then it will be very much helpful rather than getting short notes from someone else if you prepare the short notes by your own then it will be very much helpful and uh, short notes i tell and what extra what i tell hmm that's all friends if anything else i forget then i will be posting you in the next video